About to head out to a Lingenfelter Cars and Coffee. Um, actually have my buddy's R8 V10 Spider. We traded for the night. See the boss is over there. It's actually sold now. Um, it is gone. I have the car still in the garage because it's getting picked up next week on its way out to California. Really sad to see it go. It had to be done. A lot of you have asked why I'm selling it. A lot of combination of reasons. Either way, I have to get something for a daily driver. Um, something a little more practical, cheaper, just to save up for the next supercar. But uh, this R8 V10 Spider is pretty awesome. Pretty much, the, I think it's a 14 or 15 the last year before uh, they went to the brand new body style. It's pretty awesome. The new gearbox is sick. Shifts really quickly. Love the Colt of Leather seats. Let's get in and go. Got to put the top up because it's a little bit rainy today. R8 V10 cold start. Lingenfelter Cars and Coffee with yep. Kensington. Hi there. With this stupid Probably. martini shirt. And this yep. You don't even own them. Oh yeah, you do own them. <laughs> We've got the R8V10. like it a lot. We've got his extremely, extremely slow and that might catch on fire Shelby GT250 yep, because of the recall. recall. Yeah. Well, you get it taken care of, right? But we mm -hmm. discovered, I think it only affected vehicles with build dates after September of 2016 and yours was built in May of 26, mm -hmm. uh, 20 dates. Either way, his might not be affected, but they'll still do all the vehicles. Yes. But you're safe to drive it, so it probably won't explode. Thanks, doctor. Pro probably. <laughs> probably. Got some Lingenfelter vets. We've got Steve's formerly matte white, which kind of just looks pink now, GTR. <laughs> it looks really pink, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, but it has a hint of green in it. It's like salmon colored. And his bumper is still ruined. He needs to fix that. Poor car. This is probably the most abused GTR. Nah, there's probably more abused out there. Maybe? Mm, Maybe not. Know. It's up there. Got, people actually really like uh, Esteban Genesis. A lot of, well, yeah, it's a very lot, nice car. No, it sounds freaking awesome. A lot of people are coming in like, holy crap, that white Genesis too. Yeah, it looks beautiful. He's also handicapped now, so. <laughs> Just for today. Is this a four-cylinder base camera? I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't like it. That's cool, though. Canadians. That's no longer functional as a truck, really. What else? You got a Black Edition GTR over there. All their vehicles. I can't. There's a boxer spider. Let's go check out the boxer spider. Now this is still with a six cylinder, right? Yeah, it's a Cayman GT4 convertible essentially, minus the wing. Yeah. Somebody rendered one with the uh, GT4 wing on a spider, and it looked sick. Yeah. But they're moving to the four cylinder now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the new 718 is four. Ooh, he's got driving gloves. Ooh. Nice. Red interior. That probably cost him an extra, I don't know, five thousand dollars because Porsche. Oh no. Are those dirty or curbed? I think they're just dirty. It's a good looking little car. This or a GT4 though, which one would you take? Oh, GT4. This GT4 just seems more extreme. Yeah. Oh. It's still definitely cool. Did you see the uh, the 991.2 testing? It was once testing a Nuremberg ring. The black oh, really? one. Yeah, it's got like the revised front fascia and stuff. Oh, and that's a manual transmission. Woo! Look at the Z07. Oh, that's sick. That's the guy that went in the rally last time and it started raining and he had Sport Cup 2s and he like couldn't drive faster than 40 miles an hour in the freeway. Oh my God. <laughs> We're currently doing a drawing for some Adam stuff. <laughs> Do you want to win free Adam's things? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's free stuff. <laughs> Look at this Corvette. We have a couple more cool cars over on the other side of the building. There is like three CCSVs, have a Hellcat. Still got like, wait, what are those red bumper stop things? Interesting. Have a Chevy SS. Love those cars, so much fun. A uh, red Z06. Let's see, ooh, Cayman GT4. That is sweet. That's cool, we got a Cayman GT4 here and a Boxer Spider. Got the red accents on the interior. State fan, ha! You guys just lost yesterday. Ooh, they sound good too. The sun came out and I'm wearing a jacket, but it's top down weather. Heated seats, got the heat blasting. This is a lot of fun. I like this car a lot. 
Today, my Mustang is going to be on its way to its new owner. I sold it about a week and a half ago, and uh, after all the paperwork and the checks cleared, shipping was arranged, it's actually on its way to California. So, sort of sad, sort of happy. It's sad, it's my first car ever, but I had to sell it. Had it for a little over half a year, bought it earlier this year. A lot of fun times in this car, it's a really great car, but I unfortunately just had to sell it. A lot of people asked why I had to get rid of the car. After I got the BMW, it wasn't really driving this that much. And then um, it doesn't work in the winter, really. I mean, it's rear wheel drive, and it, it just don't, won't work in the winter. And I just, at this point in my life, I did not have the uh, logistical or financial means to keep a car that I didn't drive that much. It's not like I can take it to the track all the time. I wish I could hold on to it, but unfortunately, I'm getting rid of it. Um, this weekend, me and Parker are actually flying out to uh, New Jersey again. I keep buying cars from New Jersey. This one was also from New Jersey. But I'm getting something more practical, a little cheaper, just I, I, a winter car slash daily driver. I need something that I can take everywhere when the BMW is either going to be left at home or um, when it's snowing. So, like, a big concern with the. It is all wheel drive, but the reason I can't just keep the BMW as my only car and get something crazy is it's really low. So that can be a problem in Michigan when we get like half a foot of snow, I could I don't know, get stuck or something. And it's on summer performance tires. You could say, all right, get winter tires. That's, it's, it's not that easy. The, um, the only wheels or the only tires in the world that exist for the stock setup here are the summer performance uh, tires on the car right now. So to get winter wheels, to get winter tires, I would require Winter wheels, which BMW sells for the i8, they're kind of hideous, they're smaller. The reason is, 215s up front, 245s in the back, they're 20 inch wheels in diameter, are, are they 20s? Um, yeah. So, nobody really makes wheels of that size, because if they're usually that narrow, they're a smaller wheel in a little car like a Fiesta or something. But, um, yeah, so this thing will probably get stored for the winter, getting something all wheel drive, practical, for a daily driver and winter car, and the Mustang is leaving. This is a truly, it's looking really clean right now. Has been driven in like a week and a half because I sold it, but 25,000 miles on it. The Boss 302 Laguna Sega. So yeah, I'm about to take the Mustang over to a mire nearby me to the parking lot because there's a lot of tight roundabouts by where I live and a giant shipping truck, it's a big enclosed trailer, is not gonna be able to make it to my front door, so. Drive it about, about like two miles down the road, and we'll meet the truck up there, and the Mustang will be gone. <laughs> Goodbye. Every single time I've driven it, it puts a smile on my face. With the new Trans, it's perfect. It shifts so well, and it's just, it's a great car. It's unlike a 5.0. It's so much better. It handles better, it sounds better, it drives better, and um, I hope the new owner will enjoy it. Um, in the future, if I have a boatload of money, a ton of space, I will probably go find myself one of these and buy another one just because it is my first car and like there's a little bit of like nostalgia there and stuff like that, but uh, one more cold start. All right, last time doing a cold start in the garage. Sounds so good for being a stock exhaust. Still sounds so good. I've definitely missed driving this thing again in the last, because it's been for sale for so long, I haven't wanted to drive it as much, didn't want to put more miles on it, or in case anything happened, especially because I was trying to sell it. Um, there was a track day opportunity, which I didn't take it to because I was trying to sell it, but God, I do miss driving it, and I'm gonna miss having a big V8. Arrived at Meyer, got the uh, the truck which was very easy to see from very far away. And my car. So yeah, one of the big, huge enclosed carriers. No way that would have made it down into uh, my neighborhood. But uh have the Mustang here, last time driving it. Getting actually kind of sad right now. Two cars out, looks like mine might be the next one going in. Got two three series. No idea where they're going. This one's going to California. So if you see a Laguna Seca show up in California, I think it's Sierra Madre. Might be mine, or my former vehicle. Anyways, about to head out. Goodbye. Goodbye, boss. Well, this is sort of a sad video, but hope you guys enjoyed it. Like always, please browse our channel and subscribe. Look forward to seeing you next video.